Before I get into this video guys, please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you and enjoy watching. Welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs guys. I'm here at Hall Stadium for the fixture between the Republic of Ireland and Sweden in the European Under-21 Championship. Uh, it's going to be a good one. I have my Irish hat, so hopefully we'll get the win tonight guys. The Irish top the group, they're three, three points ahead of Italy, uh, but Italy have two games at hand. Ireland have played six games, Italy have played four. Tonight's opponent, Sweden, you know, they've only played three matches and they're seven points behind, so the group is a little bit messy. Um, a win for Sweden tonight puts them four points behind us, the three games at hand. You'd fancy that in that case it catch us. Now, from our point of view, a win for us plus is 10 points ahead of Sweden. There's still three games at hand, but 10 points is a big difference to the four. Um, good news for Ireland today is that uh, Lee Connor will be available after his international senior debut against New Zealand. Uh, Jay Malumphy was another player who's, who's suspended for the win in Armenia. He's back available tonight. And interestingly, Troy Parrott apparently is available tonight. Uh, he featured, didn't feature, but he was part of Ireland's senior squad last night. Now, how he'll feature, I'm not so sure. Will he start, come off the bench or what? It depends on Stephen Kenny and his preparations ahead of the game. Uh, suspect he'll be on the bench. Uh, the last time they met Ireland won 3-1 in Sweden it was a great result, but they also had Aaron Connolly available for that one, a player they don't have now. Um, I'm really looking forward to this though. Uh, I think it's going to be a very good game of football. I've watched the Ireland under-21s play a couple of times now, and they're a good side, so I'm um, looking forward to the match. The pitch is in excellent condition. I'll catch us again at half time. Cheers. So I found out Troy Paris is starting tonight, lads, so I'm even more excited now. So I'm here in the Viva Stadium, I was going to say, <laughs> Palace Stadium, it's Republic of Ireland nil, Sweden won, and to be honest, it's been a very, very disappointing first half. Not only were you goal down, but um, we've been terrible, quite frankly, in this half. Sweden have been much of a better side, they've been sharper on the ball, they've defended very well, to be fair to them. Uh, Counter-attacked very well, their goal came from a brilliant counter-attack, but um, a lot of Ireland's Possession is a walking pace and no one's really shown for the ball in a meaningful way. Um, there's a serious lack of movement. And as the half went on then we started to give it away a bit more. A few long balls to Ida over hit. Uh, we had one chance for Ida hit the side netting after good play from Troy Parrish. But apart from that we're really going to have to up the tempo here because it just isn't good enough. Um, and the continues we're definitely not even getting a point from this game. Um, you know, the surprising part, I've seen Ireland a few times, Ireland number 21 a few times, it's by far the worst I've seen them play, but, um, you know, Malumphy, Coventry, not really getting on the ball, when they do, it's passing, you know, two yard passing, and no real movement, and no combination play at all in the game here. So, um, look, hopefully things improve in the second half, but so far, Ireland nil, Sweden won, and we really do need to get going here. Oh, 
two halves can make in football I did not see that coming in the second half particularly what happened in the first half I mean 4-1 could have been 6 or 7 genuinely in that second half um, in that second half we were absolutely sensational Ireland, they played with power pace uh, accuracy, good football good movement everything that was completely the opposite in the first half. Clearly, Stephen Kenny gave them a rocket at half time because uh, what they what they done in the first half, it really wasn't good enough. It wasn't even close to being good enough. Um, and the second half they were sensational. I mean, you can pick out players and that. Leo Leo Connor gave them the lead anyway very early in the second half, and uh, that set the tone. But they'd already set the tone a bit before that. They looked like they were going to score. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember who set it up. It might have been Ed Rosetti. He was fantastic in that second half. Elbazetti definitely set up Ida to put us 2-1 up. 
Um, and then we went 3-1 up, thanks to Troy Parrott, with some nifty footwork. Uh, El Bezzetti held himself, helped himself to a well-deserved goal to make it 4-1. Um, I actually got man of the match. Um, I think Pat Fenlon was working for our sport, so I think he would have awarded him a man of the match. But uh, don't get me wrong, he was good. But um, I think one or two players, I thought Leo Connor was absolutely fantastic second half, along with El Bezzetti. And Conor Ronan came on at half time for Malumfi and he was brilliant. He he was the epitome of what uh Ireland were good at in that second half. He really was. Um a sensational result, uh, unbelievable result, particularly after what we saw in the first half. It's some nice goals, beautiful football. It's great to see an Irish team play like that, by the way. Um and Sweden had no answer in the second half. As soon as Ireland Equalised. Sweden had no answer once Ireland got on their game and up the tempo. And it's great to see that, you know, that, you know, like Sweden are no mugs either. Like, you know, they're not, you know, San Marino or anything like that. So that was fantastic. Um, I was just laughing at a few guys behind me. They couldn't believe it. They were talking about El Bezzetti. And they are wondering who he played for, you know, and they couldn't believe it when I told them that he was a Warford FC last season. It was like, a Warford FC player's in the team. Like, you know, the kind of way a team from the Irish, a player from the Irish League is in the team. But he was fantastic. He's been linked with Dundalk, but I'd be very surprised if uh, across some cross-channel clubs were not looking at him. Fantastic performance by him. Overall, it sees Ireland 10 points out of Sweden now. They've three games in hand Sweden, but you can't see them overtaking us. Ireland in a good position now. <clears throat> Uh, three games to go. We've got, who've we got? Luxembourg to play definitely. Um, which is away from home. Italy away from home, and um, we have Iceland at home as well. So we're in a good position. Very good performance in in the second half tonight. Um, that got us four goals. Brilliant stuff. Well done to Kenny. Well done to the players. Um, and that's about it. If you're new around here, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and um, I'll talk to you later. Good luck.